E, baby, cubby thing. Oh. My name is Dr. Albert Sadu here, a medical officer at Kolebu Teaching Hospital. And this was kind of impromptu to me, but I was contacted by Mr. Erwin to come for a health screening program at Bosuzo His Village. Um, I kind of agreed to come, so I came anyway. And I must say, I've not regretted coming. It's been quite an experience, even though we've had sim similar experiences from other places too. The major problem here, not that much. Um, they have, mostly they are elderly, and tell you me, most of them are old. 80s and 70s, 90s, still living, you should see them. The major problem is about the normal chronic ill health in the elderly, that's hypertension, arthritis, few diabetics and some malaria, just a chunk of them. For them, their health sector, their hospital is not in a good shape. It's not like this is the only place that such a problem exists, but because that's so much on the heart of our boss that we it's one of his aim to renovate the place, actually pull it down and erect a new structure that is befitting because according to him he was born there. At that time he was in a better shape than today. So hope to come here another time and to continue impacting on the lives of us. My name is Gladys Adarko. I'm from East Orange, New Jersey in America. I came here not so long ago and today I helped with the health screening in Bososo. Yeah, I helped with the health screening in Bososo working with Lizzie. She was uh, checking for glucose levels and I helped the patients and I like calculated their glucose. So that was enjoyable. But when we went to the hospital site, it was very heartbreaking to see how babies are delivered, the condition of the, of the beds and everything else. And I hope that what we're doing here today could help build another and better, better hospital for them and for the people of Bososo. Rep food, that amazing crew started from the bottom. Now we're here, Drizzy. Get a kiss now. Yeah, right there. I was on for Intima, Mumaya, Serena, Ramon. Sunshine to see a brighter day. We've been through the rainy days. Sunshine to see a brighter way. When it's weak, mama don't go cry no more eh? So I remember things we used to talk about When we reach, papa don't go cry eh? Only the hustler where they cry yeah. Through the trouble on the mind yeah. Shine to see you right away. Kill beat. Oh, you and I, you and I, you and I, you and I, through the rainy day. Yeah. On my name, say this life won't be the same. This go multiply. When I didn't look at this day, now Jaja bless the way. So I'm feeling right. I remember when we used to talk about. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is Erwin Boating once again. 
We are finished with the screening as you can see. We have screened up about 500 people. It's very unexpected. And now we are heading to the hospital for the official tour to see what is lacking in the hospital. Um, we're just here now. Um, I'm gonna take you to the hospital so you can see the nature of the hospital. And this is the superintendent of the hospital. Mama, um, we are here for the tour, so uh, it's all in your hands. Please take us around to see. So this is what you hang the scale on to weigh a baby. We'll be here. The pregnant woman will be here. We we'll use this as our kitchen This is the ultrasound. Yes. <laughs> this, this, this this is what um, they use as an ultrasound. The recovery what? The recovery what? Yes. These are just basic on the counter yes. medicines. Yes. That you have. yes. 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 So, Mama, please tell us what this hospital lacks and what is needed in this hospital. Well, the hospital has many things, many things. We don't have water in the clinic facility, the nurses, we don't have water, we don't have um, uh, equipment, we don't have chairs, we don't have tables and chairs, we don't have nothing, nothing is here, no water, nothing. So if somebody comes in the night, we have to struggle, we want to sweet, do switching, where will we get water? We need computer, we don't have computers. We need uh, photocopy machines. We need uh, printers. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been out here myself, witnessed, and as the video shows, this hospital needs a total renovation from the building facility itself, rusted beds, um, um, lack of a database to keep patient information in. You know how important patient records are. That is the only way you can tell a patient's health history. It also enables you to know how to treat a patient. This hospital have no pants. Um, they have no fans, no bed sheets. Uh, if you go to the delivery room, it's very sad. I had tears in my eyes from what I saw. A hospital where I was born back in the days this was a full functioning hospital that people come here back and forth but now the hospital is left to death we're going to renovate this hospital we're going to build a cancer screening center which will enable the patients to come here and get free screening to figure out what is going on in their system it is very important as we leave I also urge all the leaders of Bosuso to continue to educate the members of the city about the importance of coming to the hospital and getting tested if you come and get tested since the facilities are not here, advise them to go to uh, Kofodia for the meantime or Begro to get blood work done, to know what is going on with them. So as long as they know about cancer, they know about all these dangerous diseases, they can eat the right foods, they can make the right exercises, take the right precautions to ensure them a healthy life. God bless you all and I promise you that we will be back and there will be definite changes in the city. Thank you very much. Thank you.